Hey guys, my toy Bonsai Boise. So this is my Tiger Bark Ficus, one of a few Tiger Bark Ficuses that I have. I bought this at a grocery store or a big box store. I can't remember which one now. Anyways, bought it at a store a few years ago. It's got this sort of standard S shape that they typically come in. <clears throat> and, um, and it's been doing fine. I repotted it about a year and a half ago. Um, however, just recently it took a spill off of the third floor balcony. It was a really windy day and I had it just up on the ledge, which I'll show you here in a second. And I was away. I wasn't even home and I came home hours after the storm, maybe five, six hours after the storm had come and gone. And I walked out there and saw that it wasn't there and like, what? Looked over the balcony and there it was on the ground, screaming for help. <laughs> so I freaked out, ran downstairs and it was out of the pot, roots exposed, you know, um, in, in bad looking shape. So put it back in the pot, put some soil in it, you know, did the thing. I even built it this little crutch here. It's been a few weeks now, so I think it can survive without this crutch, but I put this little crutch together just to kind of hold it up. Um, so that's what happened to it recently. But today what I'm going to be doing is trimming it back. It's tempting to kind of leave it as it is because it's got good foliage, it's got good shape, it's got, you know, it's relatively doing well. But the reason that I'm wanting to do it is if you look at the backside, there's almost no foliage here. So we've got a few problems. One, if you can see that lean there, how it's leaning back and it just sort of settled this way after it fell and was put back in and everything. The problem is that I can't put it up next to a window because it all this foliage just bends up like this. So that's problem number one. Problem number two, which I'll give you a close, closer look at here in a second, is that these branches, forget about the structure because the structure is all wrong already. I mean, it goes up and divides into three and then comes up and divides into, you know, four. It's almost like, kind of like raft style up there a little bit with just branches coming off of the main trunk. But what I really am bothered by is just how long and straight these branches are. So that's what I'm looking to correct today. So I looked at it pretty close and I see there's one leaf here, one leaf here, and that's kind of the story. So I think I can get away with taking the foliage down pretty hard somewhere in this neighborhood. So maybe by like half up there. And the reason I'm doing that is just to get more movement out of these trunks, or uh, uh, trunks, branches, sorry. Because I, I just don't like how long and straight they are. It's too awkward and goofy and normal. <laughs> I want movement out of it. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm not going to repot it. I just want the roots to recover and heal and everything. But I'm going to be taking a lot of foliage off and hoping for the best. So follow me. I'll show you the uh, famous balcony that it either jumped or fell off of. And, uh, and then we'll get to trimming. Let's go. All right, so just to give you an idea of how far this guy dropped, it was sitting right here. One windy day, it fell all the way down there. So as you can see, three stories. Found it laying down there, helpless in pain, waiting for me to come home. <laughs> okay, so here's a close up. Give a little spin here. So hitting it from the back side, you can see a lot better some of those long straight branches there. Hopefully you can see that okay. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking to correct today. It's, it's always kind of a shame to make big, bold, drastic cuts, but if done right, and with a little thought ahead of time, in the long run, it's better. It's gonna look better because 
Now, instead of, after I do this, I should say, after I make these cuts and then a year or two down the road, as it grows out again, instead of having this long straight trunk and all these spots, it's gonna have more movement. Kind of like that's got movement and then it comes up like this. Kind of like that, that's what we're going for. Just more character, more movement. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna really overcomplicate this. I, I'll say I did cheat a little and I, I stared at it for a while to kind of figure out what I was gonna do. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in. Sort of my my line of, my marker line I should say, kind of like around there is what I'm thinking. Because the whole goal of this, the whole reason actually that I'm doing it is to gain the movement. So I've gotta take it down to here. And I can't take it down to here on these branches and then let it wild over, you know, that would look even weirder. So um, I've got a jar of water over here for cuttings, but I'm just going to, I don't know if I want to jump right in and get super duper drastic or if I want to inch my way down. So maybe I will overcomplicate those. Huh? Let's start uh, back here. Let's take this one down to about here. gonna look I'll probably have to refine it a little bit after I do this just because it's gonna look a little goofy Trying to figure out if I want to take this down or if I'm okay with this curvature here or if I want more movement than that so if I want more movement than that I could just take that whole thing off and do it after all that is the goal down here take back a little let's have a look So good, easy for me to say, but it seems so far so good. Kind of keeping this line in my mind here, which means over here, take this one all the way back to that. down lower than that ultimately it's getting pretty drastic in here it's still pretty long I don't like that long straight trunk <clears throat> I may have to thinking if I want to get rid of, if I could do this here, that whole section. Boy, that's really drastic. I mean, this is a, that would be a major restructuring, <laughs> but it might just be what's needed though, too. And I'm kind of thinking that it is. Because I just don't want the, the long straight branches anymore yeah I'm gonna do it here it goes Ooh, this one's a scary one for me <laughs> there we go done no going back there we go try to take 
I want to leave one leaf or two or maybe even three. That one's not really super straight, but as I'm looking at the others, we're going to go back to about yeah, we're just going to do it. I'll try to leave one leaf there just in case there's some dieback, like so. I should have grabbed a bigger jar. This thing's already bursting up, it seems. All right, now time for some big cuts back here. And like I said, I'll, I'll say it again, just, <laughs> just to reiterate that I did look at this for quite a while before doing this. I, I didn't just jump in, you know, clip happy. I really wonder if I can get rid of this crutch. I don't like it at all, but it's still kind of a little bit wobbly there. It makes me nervous. That crutch is ugly and distracting. I'm losing. I'm going to lose it. Here we go. Well, maybe. Not coming out of there without a fight, is it? All right. How's that? Perfect. Okay, time for another big drastic cut go all right sorry I had to pause there to get the uh, <clears throat> had to pause to get a bigger jar mine was full already this one back here let's see if we can see it better from this angle yeah I think we can So, kind of puts it in perspective, seeing it all bare like this. Kind of have wondered on some of these others, like, yeah, I'll come back to that in a minute. For now, let's stick to the plan. On this one here, let's look at it from this angle. So looking at it from this angle, hmm. try not to get analysis paralysis on one spot. These are pretty big cuts though too. I'm just gonna leave that one alone for now. On this guy over here, we've got. Let me get rid of some of this so you can see. This branch has some decent movement already. So I don't think we need to get too drastic on it. I'm gonna take it back. Let's see, how far do we want to take that back? Let's inch our way on this one a little bit. Just take a look. I don't like how it's coming back in. Gonna do gonna get rid of it to oops. There we go. It's got some movement. It's not perfect, but it'll work for now. And this guy here. Otherwise, it's not that bad, really. I kind of think about getting rid of that. I don't like how it's going straight back in. Boom, done. Did it before I had a chance to change my mind. Get rid of this leaf that is in the elbow here. Mm. There we go. I know when I was really new at bonsai it took me a long time to understand the concept of this because you know i'm sure a lot of people can relate to this you work so hard 
to get that growth, you know. And then you get the growth and you're, you can see it and you feel like you've earned it. It's like, oh my gosh, it took me all year to grow that, that extra branch right there. So the thought of taking it off, it just kind of like feels so counterproductive. It's like what? Want me to take it off? That's, do you know how hard I had to work to get that? Now that I've been doing it a little while longer, I understand now. Cause you let that go and it turns into long, scraggly looking branches with no character, no movement. It just looks like, you know, a long skinny stick. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that. It's too, not that this really has much shape, but it still doesn't, uh, Gotta do. So that one and take these back a little more. Well, that's about the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Certainly is. Certainly is. I'm trying to think of a looks a little disproportionately busy over here, but I think I'm gonna leave it alone because even though it's busy over here, it's busy in the right ways. It's the trunk has the movement. So let's take a little spin look here. really crossing my fingers that this slow leaf, slow leaf, hang on little guy. Gonna need you to grow some, <laughs> grow some more branches. I think that's about it. Let's give a little spinny look here. Let me get rid of that. So there it is. Just when you think you've seen it all, you see somebody like me just go and hack away at a perfectly good little bonsai tree. But I promise over time it will make sense because this and this and this and back here took it down, I want to say about half of that. I can remember right it was some something along that that uh, along those lines and so because of that now instead of long straight branches the branch is going to move this way and then this way and then this one same thing and so it'll have more movement like this and like these so it hurts a little to do it and it, there is some risk involved because you never know Maybe it won't respond well. Maybe it won't like it. Maybe it'll just die on me. But I don't think so. I hope not. And I don't think it will. So it's a risk I was willing to take. But uh, anyways, that's my tiger bark ficus. That's the big hack job of the day. Hope you enjoyed it. Please click like and subscribe if you uh, if you did like it. And um, if you haven't yet. So I appreciate everyone who does that. And um, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your night.